Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. Now then on today's video, we're gonna be looking at this. It's the latest offering from MN Models. It's the MN82. It's basically a Toyota Land Cruiser 79, and this is an officially licensed product uh, by Toyota. Uh, now i've actually been waiting absolutely months for this uh off banggood i did order it about four or five months ago and every time i've ordered it it's been out of stock and i've had to wait and they've cancelled the order once because it was taking that long and then i had to reorder it but it's finally turned up uh, it must be incredibly popular like i say because they've sold out on banggood like that um uh, it retails for at the moment about £49.99, I think, uh, which is about 55 US dollars. Uh, so it's not a particularly expensive model. And I believe it's going to be, I personally think it's going to be very similar to the MN78, which is the Jeep Cherokee one. Incidentally, the Jeep Cherokee, for some weird reason, is, is more expensive than this, even though I personally think this looks amazing from the photographs that I've seen. Anyway, enough waffle. I'm dying to see what this thing is like. So let's crack the box open and have a look. Right then, in the box we've got a set of instructions. Uh, we've got a set of stickers for the bodywork. Uh, we've got some various cab furniture like uh, mirrors. There's some chrome plastic uh, badges there, etc. Uh, lens covers. Uh, we've got a little snorkel as well for the body. Uh, we've got a USB battery charger and some sort of warranty card there, but it's in Chinese. Also in the box is a transmitter. Now this is the new type of transmitter that MN are sticking in their newer models. Um, I'm not a massive fan of it, I do like the original actually, uh, but we've got steering trim, uh, we've got a button that says throttle rate and bind, we've also got a, a button that says uh, light switch setup, so we'll find out what that does in a minute. Like I say, I'm not a massive fan of these transmitters, this bit glows blue by the way, which is a bit odd, and also uh, the one thing I do like is we have got like a little uh, thumb uh, operated uh, steering if we want uh, and that comes in handy I must admit I think there's two AA batteries which are not supplied and last but not least we've actually got the model itself now then oh, this thing looks really really good but I think I've just figured out why this thing is much cheaper than the things like the MN78 or the MN99 etc it's completely plastic underneath the chassis is completely plastic there's no, gone all the metal uh, chassis rails uh, separate ch chassis rails and this thing is all plastic underneath um also i when i said it might be like the mn78 i was m miles off the mark this is nothing like the mn78 this chassis is completely unique to this toyota land cruiser and we've got coilovers at the front and we've got leaf springs at the back with sort of coilovers as well. Incidentally, before I forget, the battery lives underneath the bonnet and it's a little WPL sort of style battery. A little 500 milliamp hour 7.4 volt job. Uh, it's very dirty and dusty under there for a brand new truck this. Um, and one, but one thing I do like is this um, bonnet sort of snap shut like that <laughs> so it holds itself shut which is a nice cool feature looks like metal uh hinges there actually uh but that's pretty cool don't know what this thing does here though sort of some sure we'll find out you can sort of screw something in from underneath uh, anyway uh, what i might do actually is charge the battery up and check the lights out Okay, then I've just fully charged the battery, so I thought we'd have a look at the lights. The button on the transmitter literally just turns them on and off, that's it. Uh, the other button is for throttle dual rate, you just basically get two speeds. Initially on the desk, uh, this thing has got a, quite a nice uh, crawl rate, actually. I try it. It's quite a, li a reasonable amount of control there. You know, for a, for a cheapy anyway. Right then, let's see what this thing makes of the sofa of doom. I've got it on the lower speed setting on the transmitter. Uh, so let's see what it's like. Here it goes. It has actually got really nice low speed modulation, this thing. So you get a nice slow crawl. <laughs> it's doing pretty well, actually. I wasn't expecting much, to be honest. But yeah, no problem.
give it a little go. What I thought we'd do next is have a quick look underneath this body shell and see what the underpinnings were like, see what we get underneath. Um, I'm going to be honest, I so far I'm reasonably impressed with this thing. Uh, I wasn't expecting much. I sort of a bit biased really. I took one look at that plastic chassis and I thought this thing is going to be rubbish. But actually, you know, it's not that bad. It's got a decent crawl rate and it seems to have a decent amount of power really. I mean, it sort of... It coped with everything I threw at it. I know there are any pillows and stuff like that, but I mean, there's some steep inclines there, and uh, it, it managed to get up it no problem at all. So, you know, I'm, I was quite taken aback. Anyway, let's um, whip this gorgeous body off and have a look what we get underneath. Right then, underneath that gorgeous Toyota body, we've actually got the gubbins of the thing. Uh, now, it's fairly standard, fairly plain, but there are a couple of nice surprises in here. The first of which I've spotted is. Is it me? Is that a 370 motor in there? Uh, so no wonder this thing has got a nice low down crawl. It's got bags of torque. Um, that is a big motor for such a lightweight little truck. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's much, much better than the D99, the 260 and the D99. So this thing has got an absolutely fantastic motor and gearbox combo. Uh, I mean, I'd like to see that in the D99 actually. I mean, the chassis itself, it's pretty flimsy and crap, but um, that motor is a belter. I mean, we've also got, obviously, our three-wire uh, steering servo, uh, axle-mounted. There isn't much in the way of lock, but mm, you can't have everything. Um, and on the back, the axles, they look as though they've got metal gears in them. Uh, so that's nice to see. I was expecting plastic, to be honest. I took one look at the chassis and thought they are going to end up with plastic gears in the axles. But no, we've got a decent-sized motor and metal gears. Okay then, conclusion time, what do we think of MN's new MN82 from our brief little encounter here? Uh, well, let's go for some good and bad points, but we won't break with tradition. Um, bad point number one, steering lock on this thing isn't great. I mean, I have noticed that there are little nodges on the uh, steering cups that you could probably file off, might give you a bit more steering lock. But, but the steering lock from standard is, is pretty terrible. Second thing I've got written down on my list is the fact this thing has got a one-off plastic chassis. I think personally, MN of Mr. Trick here, why couldn't they have put this body on the ladder-framed uh, D99 chassis? It would have been an absolute belter. I mean, you can get all the upgraded parts for it as well. You've got all the trick bits and pieces. Um, Whereas this, you're a little bit limited with regards to what you can, well, how you can use this chassis, unfortunately, because a lot of the bits and pieces are specific to this particular model. So the upgradability isn't going to be as good as your D99. And the third thing I've got written down in my list, and uh, it's a bit of a nitpick, really, uh, is the small tyres, which don't give you much in the way of ground clearance. Um, but they are scale and they're scale to the body. Right, let's have some good points, and the first of which is the price of this thing. Um, I, it was at the time of doing this video around £49 and some of odd pence on Banggood. I have seen these for as low as 40 quid or so on AliExpress. It's not an expensive little RC, um, so from that standpoint, that's got to be a positive. Second thing I've got written down in my list is this thing has got a reasonable low down crawl, a reasonable low down amount of control. That's mainly down to this uh, decent 370 motor and gearbox combo. I did like the metal uh, gears in the axles, so there's some durability here. Um, but this thing, for the size of it, it's got a lovely crawl to it. And the last thing I've got written down in my list is the looks of this thing. That Toyota body is exceptional. You can see why Toyota have uh, made it an official licensed product. It just looks fabulous. Rather than conclusion time, would I recommend MN Models' new MN82 Toyota Land Cruiser to you guys? And I'm going to be honest, I was all set to hate this thing. As soon as I saw that plastic chassis underneath, I thought this was going to be very much toy grade. Um, so I was all set to absolutely hate it. Um, but you know what? It's grown on me a little bit. This thing is more capable than I initially thought. I think I still think MN have missed a trick by not making it like a ladder chassis like the D99, etc. I still think they've made a missed a trick there. Um, but as a standalone product, it's it's pretty good. This is and the price is bang on as well. Uh, so if you want a Toyota Land Cruiser model that's an RC truck as well, then look no further. I mean, with a few modifications, I think this sort of thing would be quite quite reasonable off-road actually mainly do check down to that it, that belting motor that's got in it 
Uh, but yes, the, the answer to your question is I would recommend this. I don't think it's a lot of money. And it, oh, look at it though, it's absolutely gorgeous. As ever, there will be a link in the description to where you can go and get this thing from. Uh, and if you've enjoyed the video and you find it of some use and interest, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're feeling that way inclined, hit that subscribe button. It makes a huge difference to this channel. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Thank you.